Dino. Um, this must be what your tenth or so boat show. No, it, well, in terms of sanctuary curve, it's only my sixth uh, in my current role. But uh, I make it uh, an important part of my job to attend every single boat show uh, in Australia. And when I say that, every single boat show that our dealers attend. Uh, which just about covers uh, every single show. The brand, uh, it's, uh, the brand name itself, the strength of the brand uh, is, is so iconic all around the world. So not only as a marine brand, but just as a brand in general, uh, the name ha is, is iconic. So the, the new owners that actually took it on uh, and signed, officially signed on the 7th of January uh, this year, uh, which is a French private equity firm called OpenGate who have not had any exposure to anything marine. This is their first foray into marine and they could only have dared start with marine with a brand. By starting with a brand then most of the hard work uh, is done. But a lot has changed for, for Zodiac Marine and certainly in the recreational side that there are, uh, we have many, 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 many uh, competitors now where once upon a time really it was every inflatable company was a Zodiac company, be it Avon, uh, Zodiac, um, and numerous uh, other brands. So now we have a, a lot more to contend with, which is a good thing, especially in Australia, where this is uh, predominantly the land of the tinny, and that slowly we've uh, got the message across that the inflatable boat is an absolutely fantastic and safe alternative to something to an aluminium boat or even a glass boat for, for that matter. You know, as a tender, it's sort of a no-brainer, really having an inflatable. You don't want anything sharp banging up against the hull of your new super yacht. So, uh, you know, an inflatable makes a lot of sense, but the message that we try to convey is that even now as a, as a primary boat, uh, it's, it's just a very good idea. I often joke with people that uh, if you're out in your fiberglass or aluminium boat and you get into trouble, more than likely it's going to be an inflatable that will come out and rescue you. So why not just cut out the middleman? And what's the market share for Zodiac? Do you reveal that in terms of the, the tender and the it, market? It's almost impossible to measure because uh, uh, tender boats uh, that are tender to larger yachts uh, don't necessarily have to be registered around Australia. So it's very hard to actually measure. Uh, in fact, it's only Queensland that does uh, registration uh, measurements or actually do have Report. figures. Yeah, and based on their reports, and yes, of course, Zodiac is, is a long way ahead, but for the rest of Australia, I can't gauge it accurately. Okay, so the new logo mm. tells a story. Mm. What is new that logo story? tells a story. Well, if you can have a look at uh, the T-shirt, the actual D in the zodiac is exactly what a zodiac would look like if you were a seagull. So it's a bird's eye view of a zodiac, and, and just above it, you actually have a, a boat uh, underway. It's almost an optical illusion, but if you look carefully at it, once you see it, it'll never go away. But it takes a little while to actually look. At it. And also, the, I guess the most significant thing for us is that they took the borders away, which is highlighting for us that we don't have any more borders. Yeah, we, we're now, you know, we're going to go back to where we were all those years ago as mavericks and uh, as as the trendsetters. Um, so, 75 years coming up next year, are there big plans uh, in terms of product launches and in terms of celebrations? <laughs> well, none that they've told me about, but 1934. It's about the first year that the world had viewed its, uh, its first inflatable boat, which was a, a Zodiac. Um, oddly enough, the public didn't really get to uh, enjoy inflatables until the, the 1960s, where the inflatable boat was only the domain of the military and nobody else. And it was only in the early 60s that uh, they began selling uh, inflatable boats. In France, no doubt. In Europe, mm. and the rest is history. Yeah, the rest is history. So what can we look forward to in Australia? You mentioned before uh, some larger products. Well, we have uh, a lineup in France and Europe, uh, and, and they've had it for a little while now, but we've been a little bit scared. So Zodiac, as a, as a primary boat, uh, is yet to show its true colours here in Australia in any great numbers. We've always had them, but in very small numbers. What sizes are we talking about? Uh, up to 7.6 metres. Horsepower, you will... 250 horsepower. They are a day yeah. yes. 
Yes, we don't have an overnight boat. No, no. I'm sure you could manage. <laughs> well, thank you very much and um, enjoy the rest of the show and our long association together. Thank you very much, Jimmy.